you real estate followers out there. It's Kay Haddock with Beach Properties. We're having a gorgeous day today. We are out here at um, George Court Park where the lighthouse is and behind me they're setting up for the Scallop Festival. So we have some exciting news to talk to you about. There's so much to tell you so we're gonna you're gonna need to fasten your seatbelts because this is gonna be fun. I'm gonna start with some of the news. I'm gonna dive into the real estate market and then um, we'll follow up with some of the information that's going on this weekend for the Scallop Festival to help you out if you decide to come on down and check it out. The, um, the main news in Mexico Beach right now is still the uh, detour that's going on through there. And what's going on behind the scenes of that detour is they're restoring a bridge and that's the biggest holdup. But along with that, they're redoing all the shoulders of the roads. They're restoring the dune system with the vegetation and all the sea oats. It's looking beautiful. They're going to have fewer boardwalks going over to Mexico Beach than they had before, but they're working on that as well. So when they lift up that detour, there's going to be, it's going to be really nice. And I think people are going to be very surprised on how good it's looking over there. So that's what's going on in Mexico Beach right now, and I'll dive into the real estate market in that area in just a second. Let's talk just for a minute about some of the new news. We're right over here near the marina, and the, um, there's some new news that just came out, and we are going to include all of the key things in our blog post with links so you guys can link up to all this and really dive into all the specific information. But what's coming out is the, the county, um, excuse me, the, the Port St. Joe commissioners have approved a plan unit development over at the marina site. And the things that you're going to see that are going to happen over there is a four-story hotel. It's going to have 150 rooms. You're going to have a restaurant over there. They're going to have a little bit of a shopping district with some expanded parking. The amount of boat slips that we have at the marina are going to double. And then, of course, the boat barn is also going to double in size for capacity. So they're expecting a really beautiful beautiful renovation over there that was going to affect our whole area. It's already kind of hitting the news. I'm getting a few phone calls about it. So we will put the um, master plan that they are using down in the blog post. So you guys can just click on that link. It'll make it super easy for you. So let me make sure I haven't missed anything. Um, you know, what does this mean for you, um, some of the news that we're seeing in this area? We are, you know, slowly in the real estate market absorbing a lot of the Mexico Beach news into the entire market. And I know we've talked about this before, but they're coming to Mexico Beach where we're seeing half investors and half retail buyers. Prices have kind of hit a ceiling in Mexico Beach. A lot of families have tried to go out with a higher price, hoping to capture some of the news. And there's a lot of resistance. So in the spring, we were seeing selling through it and we got a lot of inventory moved over there but now more things are coming on the market people are starting to really digest prices and know what's going on and we're seeing some resistance so if the property is not priced right in Mexico Beach it is just sitting on the market the people that have priced their properties right they're buying it so there is an audience for it but we're also taking a lot of those customers and repurposing them throughout the area because renters that have rented over there with their family every single year this summer push their way this direction from Port St. Joe out to Cape Sandblast and stayed in areas they haven't stayed in before. So the good news is, is we had a fantastic summer considering our circumstances. It was very, very busy. And, you know, we're all just proud that people came to spend their vacation here and you know check and people that haven't stayed over here came over here and checked us out so that's causing them to buy property out on the cape and also in town in areas that they wouldn't have been in before town um in the town of port st joe itself the inventory is extremely low i can tell you guys back in the foreclosure days when there were 140 homes on the market there are 18 right now 18 homes on the market so anyone thinking of selling right now is the time to get your property on the market while there's not a lot of inventory we've got the news from the marina now, there's a lot of things like still fuel, fueling the news. We have terrific interest rates, like unheard of interest rates that have dipped back down lower than three and a half percent. And people are taking advantage of that and not wanting to miss this opportunity to get their place at the beach. And again, it just continues to be people that have looked in the area for years that they're now seizing the opportunity to buy here. I do feel like we have slightly slowed down since school has started, but not a lot, not as much as I thought we were going to. So I think if you're still on the fence about selling your property, you want to play into this momentum. You don't want to wait till the news has already happened. You want to play into it and people that are buying, you want to buy now, you know, so that, you know, things are not higher when you get ready to do something, why interest rates are low. It'll all work itself out. So if you want to talk to us about that, give us a call 850-227-2500. We can help you understand all of this. 
Also, a lot of property owners are getting their trim notices for taxes, and you should see those, those values be lower than they have been. So if you have questions about that, we can obviously walk you through that. But we have some instances out there where people are looking at Zillow, wanting to look at the Zillow's estimates. But I just got a call yesterday about a property that showed in the Gulf County tax records that having sold at 90000 But what they couldn't see is that there's some deep details in that that explain that that property shows as 90000 Zillow picks it up as 90000 but they bought two lots. They really paid 45000 for each lot. You need to have a professional help you understand the real estate market right now. It's a little quirky here, and we can help walk you through it and make it easy peasy for you. So don't hesitate to give us a call. We're here to help. So if you're not understanding something and you want us to explain it, give us a ring. We're going to help. we got a whole team at the office. Everybody's well-versed in this, and we're going to help walk you through it. Also, one of the things I wanted to mention is um, as far as us as an office, we are going through um, some changes because we had to kind of put our brochure on the back burner. We do a 5,000 copy brochure, beautiful, slick advertising. We usually have it in boxes all throughout the community. We had to put that on hiatus because the inventory was not stable. It is stabilizing now. We're bringing it back. The customers who are used to picking that up from us have been begging for it, so we feel like we got some energy, and we're in the process of publicizing that now. If you want to be in that brochure, you're going to be there all the way through winter and into um, the, we're going to be there all the way through the early winter. So, and then we'll do another one, obviously, for the spring. But right now, we're gathering all of our properties. We're getting them in there. The maps are in there. We're going to have them all over the area again, um, and we're ready to go on that. And so, everyone's looking forward to that. So, let's talk about what's behind me here going on at the stage. They have, at least, they have a lot of local talent that people love to hear around here and they have not been around for a while so you're going to see baby gray you're going to see rick ott and his band they're all setting up behind us there's going to be several musicians each day for scallop festival along with some local arts and crafts there's going to be some amazing food so if you don't have anything to do this weekend get down here and check us out because we're going to have it going on and you can see the weather's beautiful the breeze is coming off the bay we got a beautiful beach out here i mean i just don't you could come scallop i mean the scallops are abundant out there people are enjoying themselves they're limiting out. I mean, there's, I mean, it is unbelievable. We're having great scallop traffic that's keeping the restaurants full, and we're loving every minute of it. You guys come enjoy it with them and, and have some fun with your family. So if we've helped you out here, hit the like button. Um, show us some love. Give us a call if we can help you. And everybody take care. And as summer winds down, you guys, you guys enjoy the rest of the summer. Bye-bye.